Good morning, everyone. Good morning, lovely people. So I'm leaving, guys. I'm leaving Lombok. So I'm just waiting for my Grab driver to show up. Hello, guys. <laughs> my Grab driver to show up. So I had a really good time in this hotel, Montana, in uh, in Lombok. It is a really nice hotel. I didn't use the swimming pool, but overall, it's very open concept. Really nice. But that's it. Today is wow! It is so sunny today. For past few days that I was here, it was raining every day. But now it's just lovely and sunny. Yeah, guys, I'm going to Surabaya. So I booked my hotel in a really nice location, and I'm gonna stay there hopefully for two, three days. And I'm gonna take the train to Jakarta. I heard so much things about that train ride from Surabaya to Jakarta. So let's see how many days I'm going to spend in Surabaya and then from there hopefully we're going to have a lot of fun in the train between Surabaya to Jakarta. But meanwhile just enjoy this beautiful view in Lombok. But definitely I'm going to come back and spend more time in Lombok next time. But at least you need two weeks here, two weeks to explore everywhere. Okay guys, I just arrived to uh, Lombok Airport. It just took me roughly one hour, but absolutely there's no traffic. That's a good thing here, that there is no traffic. Hello, how are you doing guys? How are you? I'm fine. Good, perfect, I'm good. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> so, takes about one hour. I had a fantastic driver and he was speaking very, very good English. So we had a long conversation, it was very knowledgeable. And now I'm gonna just go for a check-in. After check-in, I gotta wait uh, two hours. And that's it, then I'm flying to Surabaya. From Surabaya, I'm going to Milan. Surabaya, I'm gonna stay two days. And then I'm heading to, uh, what? I'm heading to Milan. And after that, so this is a uh, Lombok Airport, guys. Uh, I have to go to gate number two and wait. Let's see where is the gate number two. Apparently somewhere here. If I can check in my luggage, that would be fantastic, you know. Make it easy. Last time I paid extra when actually my luggage is 5 kg. When you book in just the economy tickets with Lion Air, you have 20 kg. So my luggage is 25 all the time, all the time. It's just like mind blowing. So this time, because last time I had to pay $20 Canadian for extra 5 kg, but this time, guys, I booked it online. Uh, when I was booking my ticket so it just cost me $10 instead of 
$20. So if you have extra luggage, especially if you're flying with the cheap airline, like Lion Air or one of those airlines that, you know, that economy airline, they usually want to make money out of that. So they don't give you a break. Because if you, you know, fly with the well-known airlines, usually if you are over two, three kg, they close their eye. They don't do anything. But for the cheap one, economy one, they make a lot of issues to so make sure they can make money out of you. So this time, I booked it online because I knew I have to pay extra. So instead of paying $20, I paid $10. So I always remember that. So I guess I have to wait here. And the gate number two, somewhere here. <laughs> oh, look at this shirt, man. It's just lovely. Hi, good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you guys? <laughs> I love this shirt, man. Oh, thank you so much. Let me see if I like something. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Canada. Canada, okay. Yes. <laughs> Content creator? <laughs> Sorry? Content creator? Yeah, YouTube. yeah, kind of. YouTube, uh, yes, what's yes. What's your channel, YouTube? Hamid Travel. Okay. Hamid with S and Travel. Okay. Thanks. Okay. How You're long welcome. have you been in Lombok? Uh, roughly five days. Oh. And then I'm going to Surabaya so. and then Milan. And then from there, I'm going to take oh. the train to go to Jakarta. Yeah, amazing. This, amazing. yeah. I didn't go to Bali this time because oh, for past three years, uh, like I spent four months in Bali. I like Bali, but it's just too busy. It's just only, only store in airport Bali and airport Lombok. No way. Yeah. This one? Yes. Yeah. Really? It's just unique to a store. Yes. Yes. Oh wow. Produk Pitekantropus and produk biasa. Oh, okay. So let me take a look at. It. Let me see. Maybe I'll buy something. <laughs> Oh, the shirt is really lovely. Look at this, guys. Oh, the camera is facing me. Look at it, guys. I really love these shirts. Really, really nice stuff. Obviously, this is ladies. Nothing to do with me. But the shirts are lovely. Really, really nice. <laughs> so let me see. Oh, this is the ladies. Am I correct? Uh, yeah. men no. and oh, this is men? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. This woman. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> wow, nice shorts. Everything, guys, yes. The design and everything is lovely. Thank you so much guys, it is so beautiful, bye bye. Bye, thank you. <laughs> thank you too, bye bye. People are extremely kind here man, it's just mind blowing how nice people are. I'm just not, like really I want to spend more time here, definitely I'm going to extend my visa. Again, guys, you see, like, 
I have to pay for extra luggage, but every time that I'm coming here, I gotta buy something. No, I cannot buy anything, I can't. Already I'm suffering with this heavy luggage. And to be honest with you, I have so much things that I'm not even wearing them. So. <laughs> Uh, you see guys, this is a small island, Lombok or Bali, but look at the airport, how nice, clean, organized, modern, compared to Philippines, oh my god, go to the Brakai airport if you don't believe me, if you're watching this video and if you go to, one day if you end up in Brakai airport, then you know what I'm talking about, it is not the airport, it's something else. Mm. A lot of clothing here. Uh, I guess my gate is number two. Yes, right there. Still, I have a lot of time. I gotta wait how many hours? There is a live music, guys. Oh, thanks God I'm on a schedule. So this is my gate. Oh, gotta wait two hours. I love you. You are fantastic. I'm impressed everywhere that I'm going. Level of kindness, no complication, no rudeness, you know. I had a fantastic conversation with the Grab driver up to here. Now I'm here. No extra charge, no drama, no rudeness, no go this way, no go that way. That's why I hate Philippines, guys. That's why. In Brakai, there is no airport. It is not the seat you can see. Go take a look at it, if you don't believe me. If you think it, I'm, I'm just going after Philippines. No, just go to Brakai, which is an island, and just take a look at the airport there. It is a nightmare. You don't have a seat to sit. Are you kidding me? Here, there is a, even a smoking room. A lot of washrooms. Air conditioning is on. It's comfortable. They call that country technology, modern country. It is not a nightmare of Philippines. Even they play live music for you guys. Taxi driver gave me a lot of good op options. He said definitely go to Malang and Brawa. He said go there and then come back to Surabaya and then take the train to Jakarta, which I'm gonna do that. Because he said Malang is very nice. He said Surabaya is a, just a business place. I'm gonna follow him because he was very knowledgeable. Hello. <laughs> lot of uh, breakfast so I don't need to eat anything 
Man, Lombok, it was fantastic. Good experience on all aspects. Really on all aspects. But the next time if I come here, I have to stay longer. Because to be honest with you, four or five days doesn't work. You gotta come here, spend more time, and also you need to rent the bike and rent somewhere long term, minimum two weeks, and then go and see different part of islands because I'm sure there's a lot of beautiful places in Lombok. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I have my passport. Yeah, I got my passport. Oops. Yeah, I'm flying with Lion Air. It is just one hour flight from here. Lion Air is the worst one. <laughs> And usually, as I said, they try to make really your life living hell if you have a, a little bit over your uh, luggage allowance. So make sure buy it online because you can save money. Because they won't let you in. They won't. They are just really strictly strict at that to make some sort of extra money from you. I'm still here, I'm just chilling, I'm doing my things, doing a little bit of research, already I got my hotel in uh, Surabaya, uh, which is two days, I'm not going to spend more, two day, more than two days, hopefully I can film as much as I could, after that I'm going to Malang, I'm sure you guys know that, because I believe there is more activity that I can do in Malang, uh, probably I'm going to stay there in Malang either two days or three days, again, depends. Uh, I want to go and explore Boro. I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly. There is a volcano that a lot of people go in and visiting. Uh, so again, depends two, three days. I'm done in Malang. Hopefully, I can do all the activity that I'm looking for. After that, coming back to Surabaya, taking the train all the way back to Jakarta. So this is my plan for now, but. I'm sure if you're following me for a while, you know that sometimes my plan keep getting changed. Uh, but so far, this is the plan. And I love the airport even in Indonesia. Look at it. There is a older gentleman there and he's just playing music. And it is like almost 12.30 in the afternoon. Very clean, very nice. Good air conditioning in the airport. What else do you need? Small island with a fantastic airport. So, see you guys inside the plane. Uh, probably I'm boarding at 12.55 and it takes about one hour from here to Surabaya. It is a fast flight, I guess. Guys, uh, still waiting for boarding. It says 12.55. So now it's like 12.47. So a few more minutes. I hope there is no delay. We're getting slowly, slowly more busy. When I arrived here like around 11, uh, it was much, much more quiet. But it's now getting really busy.
I hope there is no delay in my plane because now you have to board. Well, this Lion Air is just, I believe, one of the worst airplane, like airline, actually, on Southeast Asia. It is cheap, but it's one of the worst. Again, there's a delay. It's always like that. It is like now 1.15 and we didn't even board yet. So it's just one of the worst airline. But what are you gonna do? If you're traveling in Southeast Asia, obviously you're gonna come across Lion Air because this guy is flying everywhere. Especially short distance. So, and it is one of the worst for you. See how unfair everything in life is? So, if I have luggage that a little bit overweight, this bloody Lion Air charged me $20. But when they delay, nobody has a right to say anything. So they have to pay us something back, you know? But unfortunately, like, this is ridiculous Lion Air. If, if you have an option not to fly with them, do it. But unfortunately, here in Southeast Asia, especially short flight, this guy's, you know, like the cheapest one. And I hate it, I hate it. Every time that I'm flying with Lion Air, there is something, always something. Always something. I forgot to write the review about them, but today definitely when I arrive in my hotel, I'm gonna write one of the worst review. Because probably this is the fifth time that I'm going through this. Okay, finally we are boarding, but with one hour delay. That's crazy. It is a lion air, always like this. I guess I'm the first guy. I, I hate it. I hate it when it's delay. Like, what is the purpose of delay? Do your job, man. Finally. Exactly more than one hour of delay. It is crazy, man. Di bawah kursi atau di tempat bagasi di atas. Jika anda mengalami kesulitan untuk menyimpan barang-barang bawaan, silahkan menghubungi awak kabin. Over Semua peralatan elektronik harus dimatikan sekarang. Telepon genggam agar dimatikan sepanjang penerbangan. Terima kasih atas kerjasamanya dan selamat menikmati penerbangan bersama kami. Dear passengers, welcome aboard Lion Air Wing 737-800. We are delighted to have you with us today. For safety reasons, please store your carry-on items in the overhead bin or under the seat in front of you.
Anyways, guys, welcome, welcome to Surabaya. Now I gotta go collect my luggage, get the taxi, head into the hotel. Surabaya is the second largest city in Indonesia. A lot of people here. Excuse me, can I pass by? Thank you. Excuse me, can I pass by? Thanks. I don't like to wait. I don't know why people like sometimes just stand in somewhere. Like just move or let somebody else to pass by. People arrived at the same time. Excuse me, can I pass by? Thank you. You see, the norm is just if you want to stand somewhere, just stand in one side and let the other people walk next to you. But unfortunately, I hope, well, since in my hotel is just like 30 kilometers from here. I hope there's not much of traffic. Let's collect our baggage and let's go to a hotel. <laughs> Let me see where is my luggage. Which gate is mine? Three, two, three. Uh, number three. So number three is this way. Number three, right there. 